streets report out in the world of the Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. So in Minneapolis, you have the jury over the Derek Chauvin murder trial, uh, the officer that killed George Floyd by kneeling on his neck for nine and a half minutes, to, uh, sp spreading the world to a whole BLM frenzy. Um, they're actually here to close their arguments today and they're going to be sequestered until they reach a unanimous decision. Now, meanwhile, in the suburb of Minneapolis and Brooklyn Center, they're still protesting over the tw uh, murder of 20-year-old unarmed black man, Dante Wright, who got in a scuffle with police trying to uh, get in his car and head off. And then the officer, Kim Potter, uh, claims she has a taser, yelling taser on the body cam or whatever, but has a gun and straight up kills him. Now, um, you had over 100 protesters arrested on Friday. Uh, including like journalists was getting attacked, there was chemical sprays and other less lethal weapons getting fired at the protesters and journalists. Um, Carolyn Sung, a CNN producer, Asian American, was uh, zip tied and put. Streets report out of the world, or the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So, as I told y'all, there was protests popped off. Uh, this weekend over in um, Brooklyn Center, uh, Minnesota, uh, that's a suburb of Minneapolis, over the murder of 20-year-old Dante Wright, unarmed black man killed by uh, Officer Kim Potter. Now, uh, you had over 100 people uh, arrested, you had journalists and all of that getting getting yoked up. Uh, you actually had a federal judge uh, put, put out a, a ruling barring state troopers from attacking or arresting any journalists uh, that are covering the protest. However, that does that excludes local law enforcement and National Guard, who I guess feel like for the protest, protesters is open season on them. So we'll see how this turns out. Um, while this is going on, the New York Times actually put out that one, um, that at over three people per day have actually been killed by the hands of law enforcement ever since the Derek Chauvin murder trial started. Green Warren graduation. Streets report out of the world, or the Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report, man. Hey, you see the swag, man? Make sure you check out blackfoxnews.com slash shop to actually get yourself uh, some gear just like this or whatever. We got a different color, shapes, and sizes that actually support the movement, raise the consciousness level of those around you. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the slogan is the voice for the people. You know you gotta earn that to wear that. You know what I'm saying? But go ahead, get you one at blackfoxnews.com slash shop. We got other gear as well. You know what I mean? Support us. We continue to support y'all, putting y'all onto this real. Now, Attorney General, man. Eric Garland, uh, remember the dude that uh, was trying to, that Obama was trying to get to be Supreme Court Justice and the Republicans was basically stifling that or whatever. Well, now he's the AG and he has reversed a Justice Department Trump ever uh, ruling that basically uh, limited the use of federal government to make these consent decrees to address the abuses taken by local police departments. So um, now maybe government could, uh, federal government. No, 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 the Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck I'm doing for this Black Fox News report. Yeah, you see the logo. So over in Chicago, you actually had protests continuing over the murder of 13 year old Latino boy, Adam Toledo, who was murdered in a uh, little village. This is like a, a Mexican area of, of Chicago, mostly populated with Mexicans. And um, you know, he was killed by an officer. Now, the initially the initial report was that he actually was uh, it was like a gun you know battle between him and the officers or whatever but body cam footage had been released last week showing that dude had his hands up when the police shot him he wasn't no no threat when he was killed so uh, you had thousands of people hitting the uh, streets on Sunday protesting and um, James Murphy a longtime prosecutor for Cook County and um, in uh, Illinois actually had to be placed on administrative leave for lying to judges telling them that uh, Adam had a gun when he was confronted by pol uh, police officers Green Wall Streets report out of the world though the Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report so over in Florida you have uh, the governor Ron DeSantis he's actually set to sign this bill they're calling it the anti-riot bill uh, so-called anti-riot bill but it was one of the, it was a bill that was pushed by Republicans during last year when there was all these uh, BLM protests going on in the wake of the murder of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor. Rest in power to the both of those individuals. But um, in this bill, you actually it actually bars uh, local governments from um, th this from basically uh, defunding the police without the approval of the state government. Uh, also, it increases penalties on demonstrators that are actually accused of a crime, like, for example, um, you know, destroying a monument or a statue. So, 
Um, some on some level it may seem sensical, but another, on another level, like what are they really trying to get across here? Streets report out of the world of the Bishop Grady. Let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. You know, a little glitchy right now, but make sure you pay attention to the words. So y'all remember that mass shooting that happened last week in Indianapolis, right? At that FedEx facility, eight people deceased. Uh, due to this dude coming in with uh, semi-auto, uh, semi-automatic rifles. Well, it uh, turns out that eight victims were actually identified, and four of them were members of the local Sikh community, uh, or Sikh community, S-I-K-H, that's a, a Muslim sect. So, um, also, uh, the police revealed that it was Brandon Hole, this 19-year-old white boy that actually uh, committed the murders, and he purchased those two semi-automatic rifles that he used to carry out the murders legally, and he purchased them after he actually had a shotgun confiscated from him after his mother had alerted police that he was coming off as unstable. So, and here this kid does, goes and do, does a mass shooting. Like, what's going on here? This ain't got nothing to do with gun laws, do it. Police report out of the new world of the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck over there for this Black Fox News report, man. These mass shootings seem to be going crazy right now. You got over in Kenosha, Wisconsin, there was a mass shooting that took place at a college bar. Three people deceased. Three other people were hospitalized. And then, when this happened on Sunday, on the same day in Austin, Texas, there was a shooting that left three people dead. And this happened, right now you have the number one suspect being uh, Stephen Nicholas Broderick, who's actually a former deputy with the Travis County Sheriff's Office. Green Warren graduate. Streets report out of the world of the Bishop Grady that y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. So, uh, SARS-CoV-2, Rona, Coronavirus disease 2019, uh, COVID-19, this shit is spreading everywhere still. And uh, we break down the orbits at BFM World Broadcast number 17, aka Rona, make sure you go check that out. Rap song that actually gave you some science. But uh, right now, over 3 million deaths worldwide with new cases rising in Asia, Latin America, and across Europe. Uh, you had the head of the World Health Organization, uh, Tedros Adhanom uh, Ghebreyes, is actually saying that we're heading into the worst phase of the pandemic yet uh, with Cases, new infection, weekly new infection rates actually nearly doubling over the past two months. So uh, in Brazil, you have uh, them having over 3,000 deaths due to COVID-19 per day, with a new study showing that over 2,000 people under the age of nine have died from COVID-19 over there. In uh, India, 273,000 new infections uh, per day on the um, report out of the world on the Bishop Grady that y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So across the world, while you got some of the, um, some nations haven't even gotten to vaccine their most vulnerable of the population, you got other wealthier nations that have like, you could say fully rolled out successful vaccination campaigns and are moving back towards regular society. Like a Israel that has its, um, you know, gotten rid of its uh, outdoor mask mandate and is fully reopening schools. Uh, mind you though, they got vaccine passports, quarantine hotels and all of that. So shit a little spooky over there, depending on who you asking. Um, over in the US, uh, we are still at 67,000 new infections per day. But also you have uh, a quarter of the adult population said to have been, have been fully vaccinated and half of the adult population that have at least received one dose of the vaccine. We'll see how this turns out. Green won't graduate. Streets report out of the world though the Bishop Grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. So the uh, Center for Disease Control and Prevention, uh, the CDC, they're actually having a panel this Friday to, dis to discuss whether they are going to and then decide whether they're going to resume, uh, whether we should resume uh, using the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Uh, which actually had been uh, had its uh, out out uh, its distribution halted and paused after there were reports of over six people getting like the extremely rare severe blood clots. Now J and J scientist says that there's insufficient evidence to actually link these blood clots with the vaccine. But uh, you know, it's ext extremely rare blood blood clot. Them shit, motherfuckers ain't had that shit before, so I don't know. But nevertheless, you have this going on, and um, you know, people really just doubt that they're gonna discontinue to use. And even over in South Africa, health regulators have uh, resumed using the vaccine, the single dose vaccine, after suspending it. Report out of the world though, the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. So Russian prison officials have actually transferred uh, opposition leader and Nationalist Party leader uh, Alexei Navalny to a hospital. And this is after three weeks of him going on hunger strike, protesting against the prison's lack of medical care 
um, and the, the lack of medical care and treatment that he was given while in prison. So he went on hunger strike for three weeks. Now he's uh, transferred to this uh, hospital where they're saying that his kidneys are deteriorating and he is at high risk of, of being under cardiac arrest. Right now he's serving a three and a half prison year sentence on what seems to be like, you know, according to a lot of supporters and, you know, people just been paying attention, trumped up charges. I mean, the establishment out there has it for him. Uh, mind you, last year he was just, they just tried to poison him so you know his his health is already suffering so for him to do that is some brolic shit um u.s national security advisor warned against russia of the treatment of report under the world order bishop grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this black files news report so while you got the u.s national security advisor jake sullivan war sending a warning to russia talking about how they better treat alexei navalny uh probably also there will be consequences um, now, first off, that's a bold move because Alexei Navalny, this is the opposition leader. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that's considered anti Vladimir Putin, uh, very much for the people. Somebody who's, who uh, the establishment has tried to poison, allegedly, and all of that. So um, it's, it's big business. But also, this happening on the backdrop of Biden actually um, uh, 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 initiating uh, sweeping sanctions against Russia for basically accusing them of interfering with the 2020 elections and for um, actually being behind the solar winds hack uh, which actually uh, got allowed to uh, left vulnerable like a bunch of government agencies and dozens scores of private companies. Please report out the new world order Bishop Brady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. So over in Bangladesh you actually had police open fire on a bunch of protesters on Saturday. Uh, these people were actually protesting outside of the Chinese-owned coal-fired power plant uh, that's outside of the um, that's southeast of the capital of uh, Dhaka, Bangladesh. And um, outside of this plant, there was over 2,000 uh, workers protesting uh, for being unpaid and protesting against the uh, bad working conditions over there. And police open fire on these protesters, whatever. Five people were killed, a uh, bunch were injured. We'll see what's to come out of this green war and graduation. Police report under the world order. Bishop Grady that y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. Over in Syria, they, uh, the parliament over there actually announced that they are going to have a presidential election on May 26th. So this is big, especially since the government has actually been up in limbo ever since uh, President Bashar al-Assad was actually uh, condemned and, you know, the people had an uprising and basically put him in jail. Well, now, the, rem the, the conditions of this upcoming election, they're saying that the candidates must have lived in Syria for the past decade. So what does that mean? That means any opposition leaders that have been exiled under Assad or, uh, you know, rulers before or after him um, actually will not qualify and they're gonna you know be calling this election some bullshit. uh it, a lot of people are expecting this to actually put bashar al-assad back into power and this is actually on the 10th anniversary of his crackdown against anti-government protesters starting the civil war leaving millions displaced 300 Please report on the new world order bishop grady let y'all know what the fuck going on for this black fox news report so you have uh, president joe biden actually uh reversing his decision to uh keep the trump ever cap on the number of refugees admitted into the United States. Right now, that cap is at 15,000, which is a record low. So after getting a bunch of backlash from Democrats and pro-immigrant rights groups, uh, he said he's actually going to announce the limit, the new increased limit uh, for this fiscal year on May 15th. We'll see what turns out from that. Green Warren graduation.